places, friendly faces for nearly 60 years. When you visit our stores, you'll find something for the entire family to enjoy, from our restaurants to plenty of drink and snack options. So whether you're back on the open road or planning to be soon, we'll be here for you and your entire travel party, keeping our stops safe, clean, and stocked with all your road trip needs. Love's the heart of the highway. Take the worry out of Wi-Fi with managed Wi-Fi from Troy Cable. Say goodbye to dead zones. Automatically update outdated technology. Get the most of your signal with specialized access points. With worry-free Wi-Fi from Troy Cable, you can enjoy a full-strength signal reaching every corner of your home. Think fast. Think friendly. Think Troy Cable. Troy Cable Security makes it easy to stay aware and stay in control of your home wherever you are. User-friendly interface allows easy navigation for lights, locks thermostat, video and garage doors. Never worry about leaving your garage door open or the front door unlocked. Your mobile app can send alerts to your phone for alarm and no alarm events. Know when your children arrive home from school with video response. Make sure your home is powered by Troy Cable Security for ultimate access, awareness and protection. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Truck Talk with Wiley Sanders Truck Line. I like to say at Wiley Sanders Truck Line, we put God and family first. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's always important that we say that because the owners of our company have asked us to make sure that we send that message out to you, you, and you. And we're going to start this morning off with our Bible reading. And it's going to be from a sweet little girl, it's Scott Maddox's daughter, and I asked him would he get her to do it, and he told me he would, and uh, her name is K.P. Maddox, and she's going to do our Bible reading this morning, so let's give our attention to Miss Maddox. We love him because he first loves us, 1 John 4, 19. We love him because he first loves us. First John 4, 19. <laughs> now that is just too cute. Uh, I, I got to take my hat off to the, to the cameraman, um, Dustin. Dustin, you did a good job. That's what I want. And I was just asking him, could we do that? And he said, I don't know. And, and there he is, he had did it. I guess he said, you don't even know what's going on here. Now, let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. If you want your little girl or your son to do a Bible reading for us, just let us know. Just let us know. You can do that by emailing me at house, uh, daddy at wsanders.com, or you can call me on Truck Talk, which the number is below it. Dustin, if you would, would you put your email up where they would need to email it to to get it done? Uh, Dustin is going to put his email up. And, and we're just going to take them in the order that we get them in. And it can't hurt these little kids reading the Bible. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. And it can't do nothing but help. It can help us. It can help them. And they'll learn how to do stuff like this at a young age. And, hey, they can say they was on the, the truck talk with Wallace Sanders Truck Lines because we are part of this community, and we're going to stay a part of this community. And anything positive that we can be involved in, then that's what we're going to do. If, if it's not positive, you won't see us involved in it. But if it's positive, you'll see us involved in it. We got a holiday coming up, which next Monday is a holiday. Normally, I would pull the drive of the month next Monday, but we're not going to be here next Monday. So what we're going to do we're going to pull the driver of the month today. Drivers, don't worry. I'm not taking you down until your money's up because I know that's a privilege for you guys to have your name up. And, and I, I give it an honor to, to have your, name, your names up. And I want to tell you all, uh, thank you so much for the things that you say about driver of the month. Thank all the people that, all the drivers, not people, all the drivers. I thank all the Wiley Sanders Truck Lines drivers for the things you do for the company. And yes, I, I, I feel good when you come and tell me something you heard on the show. But let me extend this out to the drivers because the drivers are going to be first at this. If you have a child and you want her to read a Bible verse, then you personally get with me because we're going to do a little adjusting in the schedule for you. And we may have two sometimes. We may have three. 
We're not going to fall behind. If it takes us running three of them, we're going to run three. If it takes us running five, we're going to run five. But drivers, I want you to know that you have first option of that. Um, just see me at my office or email me same way, Halstead at wsanders.com, or you can call me. My number is no secret to my drivers. I don't never want it to be a secret. It's 334-372-5049. And I tell guys this, and some, some of you ladies too, you take me up on this. I tell you to call me. Tell me what you got going on. I want to hear about it. Good or bad, I want to hear about it because we can fix it. Anything is fixable. Our safety director, Mr. Doug Kitchens, he always tells us every problem has got a solution. And once the problem happens, don't look back. Go to looking forward to what we can do to fix it. And, and, and that's what we strive to do. That's the, 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 the charge he has put on the safety department that we are to treat. And I really love this part. And I bought into it, and, and the people around me have bought into it, that when a driver comes and speaks to us, I want you to know this, drivers. When a driver comes and, and says something to us, the kitchen, the safety director, tells us to treat that driver as that was the driver that made our paycheck. That's pretty high up there. So I thank you, drivers, you ladies and men. I thank you for the job you do. I thank you for the job you do. And I, I just want you to know it doesn't go lightly. That's why you see the drive of the month. You see I got the shirts. and the, I just try to do things that, that, that will help you to feel good about what you're doing. And, and if any kind of way I can make your job easier, let me know. And I'm glad to say that um, first Saturday in June, I need to announce this. If you're in town, please come up to the driver's lounge. We're going to be uh, Mr. James Petway, been with us. 37 years I had a tragic um, he was a diabetic and had a bunch of surgeries and I don't know we praying that he comes back uh, if not and, and God has the first say but we're going to have a little barbecue and we're going to cook and I've asked some some uh, ladies to fix some side dishes and uh, we're just going to use our grills and sips on the square is going to bring food and we're just going to eat and and enjoy one another. And I, and I want to say this, too. We had a driver. We had two drivers that passed. And one was Ray Dunn. And I've, I'll have to call and get the other name because I didn't write it down. And I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But I kind of personally knew Ray Dunn. He was a double-team driver. And uh, had him on the show. And uh, he left me with some words. And, and I want to tell you, drivers, if, if, if you want to remember Ray Dunn, remember this. Ray said, I asked him, I said, how are you guys so successful? How do you get so many miles? And he said, well, it's a three-step concept. And, you know, I'm all ready for this big, long, outdrawn answer. He said, get the load, deliver the load, and get another load. <laughs> I will never forget that. That, that. that makes it real simple. Get the load, deliver the load, and get another load. That's, 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 that's pretty good. But I got some special guests. Look at these bags I got. Look at that. Huh? Bama Country 98. Huh? How many people listen to that radio station? Dr. Sam, huh? All right. Well, guess what? Dr. Sam is here today in the studio. Uh, we're going to put Dr. Sam on the spot. We've already had him to pray for us at the uh, truck lines this morning where we have our Monday morning prayer. But we're going to let him pull drivers of the month. You don't pull your name, go by there and blow your horn while you're working on the radio. Why you didn't get me, Dr. Sam? <laughs> He's a great guy. I've met Dr. Sam through advertising. And uh, there comes times where you meet people and you and them just click. And that's what me and Dr. Sam is. He'll call me, hey, Hoss, what you doing? And I call him and say the same thing. And if we have a problem or a commercial don't get ran or something, and I call him. He will continue to call me until you get it right. Uh, I think he's took off the auto safety director. He can't do nothing about what's happening. He's going to do something about what's going forward. And, and for that, I'll be excited about it. I'm always excited. I'm in love with life. I'm in love with my job. I'm in love with having a job. Um, when you have a job, you're successful. I promise you. It may not look like it, but you just keep working. You just keep working. Things will change. Things will change. 
get you a good job and just stay there. Don't jump from job to job. Uh, yeah, has every day been uh, peaches and roses? No, but every day has been a day, another day to allow me to get better, to allow me to get more financial capable. The longer you work, the better you get. And when you got a company that you're working for that'll sit there and tell you, hey, Hoss, if you put 4% in, I'm going to put 4% in. I'm good with that. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm good with that. And then turn around and say, hey, Hoss, I'm going to put that 4% in before the taxes. I'm really good with that because there's not much that we get to touch before Uncle Sam does. Do you know? If you started with the state today, it would be 10 years before you invested. If you start with Wiley Samuels, you invested day one. That's having a company that don't have to tie, to tie you up with all kind of contracts and all kind of gimmicks. What we got, we know is good. We don't force you. We know if you buy into it, you're going to stay and you're going to be successful. It's simple. It's simple. It's, 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 it's don't take rocket scientists. Go to work, do your job, get paid on Fridays. So my, my granddaddy used to call it Sankerville, and, and my, my grandmama used to say, boy, put you a little something in a sack and just keep it. And Boy, you could be broke and you could go around grandmama and she'd tell you to look up under this or look up under that and she'd have a little sack and she'd have money folded up in it. And it was always just exciting to see that but I'm not going to prolong the time this morning I'm going to get Dr. Sam up here and man we're going to pull this drive of the money and I, I don't want to ask I got some questions I'm going to ask Dr. Sam I know he's getting nervous though what Hall said want to know about me but no Dr. Sam has been around I don't know I'm going to find out when he get up here I know it's been a long time I know it's been a long time so we're going to take a quick commercial break and when we come back we're going to have Dr. Sam from Bama May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. Though you've probably heard these words before, it's our wish for all travelers, for those carrying the things we need and visiting the ones they love, those that take to the open road to feed their families to see new sights, to get ahead. They spend hours, days, nights, even weeks on an endless ribbon of highway. Through the weather, the breakdowns, the closures, and then they see it. Glowing in the distance, that familiar sign, a sigh of relief. Each day, thousands stop by, each different, each with one thing in common. They need this. They need us. They need a home away from home, a place where everything is exactly the way they like it, and the everyday is done extraordinarily well. So today's a new day. Let's be that place an open sign where there's none for miles. A familiar face that always says, welcome back. A meal that refreshes their soul. Let's be that place where they can grab a warm shower after a long day and be that crew that can repair just about anything. Let's say, rest easy, weary traveler. You made it. But let's not stop there. We will lead how America's highway travelers refresh, refuel, repair. We will return every traveler to the road better than they came.
Did you know at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, after 30 days of employment, that you can join our 401k retirement plan? That's right, we match it up to 4%. That's gross pay, 4% after 30 days of employment. Drive a Buck Division truck for Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, be home twice a week and every weekend. You know, if these wheels roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, you make money. Home twice a week, every weekend. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, $1,000 sign on bonus. Come drive for the best today. At Travel Centers of America, we know that life on the road can present challenges. That's why we created the Truck Smart app. The Truck Smart app makes life on the road stress free by putting all of the services and amenities at TA, Petro, and TA Express right at your fingertips. And for Ultra One members, the app makes the perks of membership even easier to access. The Truck Smart app helps you get what you want when you want it. For starters, you can search Truck Smart to find which services are available at the TA, Petro, and TA Express locations that are around the corner or on your route. And you can reserve and pay for reserved parking or a shower right in the app. The app's simple and secure sign-in gives you the ability to securely link your credit card. Need a specific service for your truck or specialty fuel? Maybe you have a taste for a specific restaurant, or maybe... And we're back, and as I was telling you before I went to the break, we got Dr. Sam. Well, Dr. Sam, good morning. Good morning to you, Jeffrey. How, How are you, sir? How are you doing, sir? Dr. Sam? How are you doing? Well, I'm doing great, and I want to I wanna thank you for having me down. And I, I, it was such a blessing to, uh, to go to Wiley Sanders Truck Lines this morning and to welcome all those new recruits. Man, I'm, you, you have a good class of recruits there. And, um, you know, when you asked me to come down and do a prayer, I was so excited about that because yeah, I've, yeah. I've been put on the spot before like uh you know calling races at the racetrack or or wherever it might be and maybe the uh track pastor didn't make it or he was running late or something <laughs> we got to get the show going so hey listen it's uh all you have to do is open your heart up you that's know? all you have to do that's yeah. all and you did a good job you opened your heart up this morning listen pull a camera in close on this because anybody that calls me it Seven seven zero three three five two. I'm gonna give them one of these. I'm gonna give them one of these. But um, Dr. Sam, let me ask you something. Yes, sir. I, I didn't tell you this because I didn't want you to be thinking about it. All right. How long have you been in radio? Since 1972. Oh, wow. You can see this old weathered face and tell. <laughs> I have a face for radio. <laughs> uh, hey, you love it. I love it, man. Um, it's changed so much like everything else. It's really an unbelievable but a loving experience. Um, you know, it, and again, it's just changed so much. And if we had about 10 hours, we could probably be talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I do it a little bit, but not on sure. the skill that you do it on. But what I like the most is, is when I'm listening, because I got a musical ear. Sure. I drove a truck. You get out in the desert, you got to listen at what that radio picks up. <laughs> you, you get too many CDs. And I listen at you, and I can just tell you're still having fun with it. Yeah, and, and you know, the day I don't is probably, which I don't see because I'm, yeah. I'm a musician too, but the day I don't is probably the day I'll give it another chance. And if that don't work out, probably the next day. But it's, it's just, you know, I love people. Yes. And... And not only just being on the air, but I also am in sales, and which is a rare breed now if you can do both because most of it is, is all corporate, and you're either A, on programming or B, in sales. Mm -hmm. So being a local uh, broadcasters, and we have eight radio stations, Blue Water Broadcasting, um, I have the opportunity to do both. To do both, and, and you like that. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I love people. I mean, yeah. I mean and Wiley Sanders is the, the biggest client that I have. Uh, that, you know, I represent you guys. I enjoy working with you guys. I love to see the growth. And what really impressed me was whenever <laughs> we uh, changed the marketing a little bit and put God first. I mean, they were always a good Christian company, but it's, yeah. it's so much better to Put it at, right out there, man. Tell it like it is. You know, I, I tell people this story, and I was actually working on a commercial, mm -hmm. and I was talking to Mr. Stephen Sanders about the commercial, and 
he just you know he just told me well, I don't know about that it was involving some kids and, and, and I guess it just hit him then and he said but I tell you what I do want you to do mm-hmm. you know that was his way of telling me no about the first question <laughs> I caught all that in it and he said but I tell you what I do want you to do he said I want you to let people know mm-hmm. that at Wiley Sanders truck line that we put God and family first. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you, I've been there all my life. Only job I ever had. I got just this feeling come over me that the owner of the company that I work for believes in God. Isn't that great? You know, and I looked at him and I said, "You want me to do that?" He said, "Yes." And he 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 kind of I call it put a period on it. He said. That's why I'm it, and that's why I want us there. Good, perfect. Now stand. I just took off with it, and I've been running with it, and and I, and I forget sometimes, but I don't care. Well, I'm in the middle of a conversation. If I realize I didn't say God and family first when I open this show, I go back and say it. Yeah. There's two things I want to do when I open this show up until I quit doing it. Mm-hmm. That is to mention God and family first. And then to speak to my drivers, mm-hmm. and I call them my drivers. They they say, but I call them my drivers because I form relationships sure. with them. We talk, hey guys, ladies, I ain't finna tell you nothing, but we talk on a personal level. Mm-hmm. And um, it's one thing I've learned about the Sanders companies is that we become family. Man, it was some gloomy days back there last week. You heard me talk about when we lost those two drivers. And yeah. Then we got pet waiters been suffering. A man, it always does something to me when a man wants to work right. and can't. Right. And then you have a man that can work and won't. No, yeah. That does something to me. Yeah, I'm just being, I'm laying it out there. Oh, that, absolutely. That, I, I have been walking, and I know this is wrong. I got to get this out of my yeah. heart. But my knees and feet have had surgeries. Yeah. And I see a guy or a lady just walking up and down the street two or three times, and yeah. I be thinking, boy, if I had them knees and them legs, <laughs> <laughs> let me have them. Put me in, coach. <laughs> yeah, put me in, coach. So, and I have respect for working people. Absolutely. I and, just have and my and and the owner of Sanders Mr. Wiley did, Mr. Stevens does, Mr. Trace does, Mr. Kitchen does, all those people that are in those um Mr. Kenny Campbell, that's all in a higher authority, they have a respect for a working man. Yeah. Now, when I say a working man, they don't care if he's the man that takes out the trash. Right. Guess what? Trash got to be taken out. Important. If he sweeps the floor, guess what? Mm-hmm. They still got respect for him because mm-hmm. he's a working man. That's right. It all boils down to being a working man. And when you get where you can do that, and 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 you work for a man that's that's got, yeah. you know, probably could go home if he didn't want to. Right, right. But he looks at his people that are around him. You know, you hear me say it um, when me and you be talking on the phone, and I be telling you, let me tell Brandy. Mm-hmm. I realize the people who make me Brandy, Dale, Key, Doug, all those people around me. Yeah, I may be the one that's doing it. I guarantee you, I don't had five calls this one. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that. Right. And, and I, I give the highest of respect for it. I get a highest of respect. And I'm sure you got people around oh, you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, mm-hmm. you know, you, you can't please everybody all the time, but you certainly try to. You, you know? try to. You and, try. of course, it, of course, at my age, I feel like if uh, I don't have any problem writing it down, I just can't remember where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you what I learned to do. Um, uh, Trojan Detail, they clean my cars for mm-hmm. me. And I've had <laughs> stuff that I couldn't find. And uh, they, I, don't they I, won't tell, I don't know why I won't tell this about it, but I cut up. <laughs> I love it. It went right in. That's right. Don't tell me it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, about three weeks later. <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> I raise up something. There it is. <laughs> and I looked at that. You know the devil talks to you. People oh, don't course. realize that, but they love it. They won't never know. All you got to do is just not say nothing. Don't say a word, bro. But I could not live with that. And I felt so bad. And 
What did I order? Big old pizza or something? I ordered something. I ordered Don't something. tell me you forgot a pizza three weeks Sunday. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what I ordered for them. I'm finna go tell them myself. Oh, okay. So I ordered them a big old pizza, boy. We sitting around eating pizza. I said, hey, look him. And I just said it out. Because I jumped on everybody there. And I just, I said, look, I made a mistake last week. Blah, 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 blah. Get you another slice of pizza. <laughs> Get you a Coke. Oh, we gonna just go. We gonna move on. So this week, <clears throat> I misplaced something again. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I misplaced something again. I did not open my mouth. I done had a couple of surgeries. Mm. The last time I rode, I didn't feel my motorcycle. I didn't feel real comfortable, so I kind of put it up. And anyway, I got it out this weekend a little bit when I got back from Birmingham. And let me tell you something. I opened that salad bag, and there it was. <laughs> So I'm just going to, I know what, I see, took me all that to tell you. I know what you're talking about when you forget where you put it. I ain't saying nothing about nothing no and, more. And you know, you want to you wanna say, well, am I really getting that old? I can't remember. But there's so much going on in this world now, you all know? You, you know, we've had it, the pandemic. Yeah. You know? And it's everything, you, you try to stay on top of everything, and, and you try to stay on top of the world of uh, developments and what's happening. But. You know, uh, sometimes we need to, to reel it in and, and, and worry about us. I always try to, and I think this is a good motto, and it's, it's a nice, clean motto. And it pretty just, if you, if you take care of number one, you won't uh, step in number two. You know, yeah. it's just a, it, it's a good, it's a good yeah. point. Well, you're going you gonna to be in trouble because the man who drive pulls the tickets, you know, a lot of drivers of the money are in here, but only one gets to be pulled out. That's why you call me. I <laughs> know there's why. an underlying issue here. I don't, I don't never pull. <laughs> you don't know the smile I have on my face when I have one of my drivers come in there and they go, man, why don't never mean it? I said, I don't know, but I didn't pull it. <laughs> and this, let me explain to you how this works. Okay. Every month I go by a dispatcher. I go by each dispatcher, and I say, I need your drivers of the month. I need your drivers of the month. And they put them on these cards, and they give them to me, and I put them in this bucket. There's mm -hmm. a van division and the buck division. Mm -hmm. We shake them up, and we pull them. I come up with this during the pandemic. That's why I tell people, it's a lot of things that this pandemic brought on us that made us make change, but some of the change we won't go back to because some of it was for the good. That's right. Some of it was for the good. Well, I go to the doctor in Birmingham, mm -hmm. and I'm parked, and it's got these long flight of steps, you know. And my excuse was they need to make the sign bigger. But when I get down at the bottom of the steps, I see this sign says, Employee of the Month. Well, I got this big old red truck parked out there at the front of it. And I think, I look back at them steps, and I look at that door. <laughs> and I just reached in my pocket, and I went in the door, I said, who was the employee of the month? And she said, I was. I said, well, here, I want to buy your lunch because I'm parked in your spot. Never done, though, man. If you're employing the month, why you ain't in your bar? Right. She reached and grabbed. She said, oh, thank you so much. My car been tore up for two months. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Fantastic. So oh, all the fantastic. way coming back, the Spirit of God just kept telling me, I need to, I need to, that, is, that was so cool. It was. And, and it was employee of the month. Right. And I kept thinking, driver of the month, driver of the month. And uh, it was during the time Trace Parker had just come in, and boy, he was wide open. I have to give him some Parker credit. When he come in, he come in wide open mm -hmm. to get better. Sure. And the first thing he let everybody know is there are no big eyes and big U's. Mm -hmm. When I introduce him to somebody and I say to be trying to put his stuff, he said, He'll bait me off. Don't worry about that. I'm just working here like y'all. And and that's the attitude that people have took and bought into. And so I asked him, could I do it? He said, roll with it, son. Yeah, that's great. You know how you got this big old speech together, you go to the boss with, and you're trying to figure out, okay, if he says this, what you going to say? All right. He had to really ask me to leave. I said, can I do drive of the month, Lord? He said, roll with it, son. And I'm just sitting there. And I know he's thinking, does this guy hear me up? <laughs> you know, because I'm just sitting there because I got this long speech to go. And then it does on me, hey, you got, yes, yeah. get up, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works? 
<laughs> I mean, it really is because, and sometimes, you know, we're all apprehensive about, you know, issues and how to tiptoe or how to do this. And sometimes if you just go in there, it's like, let me ask you something. What do you think about this? Good to go. Roll with it, son. <laughs> Out the door. Yeah. And all I had to do was get up. I, got, I made the conversation a lot longer than what it was. <laughs> and uh, we just tweaked it as we went. Right. Uh, we started off putting it up by the scales. Or <clears throat> Ronnie Bozeman came on board, and he said, hey, guys, let's put it on the side of the building. When they come down, you know, it's a lane you got to come down. I was good with that. Um, then I come back and said, hey, let's put it over the driver's lounge. And so we said, well, Ronnie said, well, let's have two signs. Mm -hmm. And he made mellow things that they actually fit up. And they look neat. And they look nice. nice yeah. It's like you put time in. Sure. It. And we put a sign over the safety, welcome home drivers. Mm -hmm. And it was just good. But it was good because of the fact it wasn't a one-man show. Mm -hmm. I dare not sit here and say it was a one-man show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm out of zip the curtain open, mm -hmm. but everybody just kept throwing into the curtain. Kevin Baker, and and that's what we do at Sandals. We like a family, and you know, we and I say this, and people probably think, well, he's always bragging on him. I just tell the truth. Doug is the type of safety director that if you can show him where it benefits a driver, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. That's his key. Yeah. When you got a safety director that'll pick up the phone and call a driver, he went um, to Montgomery the other day to see a driver that just just sick. Just went up there, drove up there, and seen him. And you know, and I, I look at little, little things like that mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. Little things like that matter. Absolutely. And you know, I, I I've been around Wally Sanders and and all you guys. Hold on a minute, Doc Sam. Let me see who this is. This okay. may be somebody. Hello. Hey there, is Dustin? No, I thought you was calling uh, Truck Talk with Wallace. And Dustin, that line is for you. No, 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 no. Okay. No, okay. For you. No, okay. For you. I didn't know if you would answer the phone or not. How you doing this morning? I'm doing good. How you doing, Kevin? I just caught your voice. How you doing? I'm doing good. You still on the air? We're still on the air. You're live on the air now. Am I live on the air? You're live on the air. Did Scott Maddox, little girl, do just a beautiful job? Yes, yes, that's we're going on. That's 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 going to grow there, Doctor Sam. That was the first one we did. Is that we, was the first uh, one? Yeah, the inaugural. I love it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Talk to that. I was looking over some things, man. We got this uh, event coming up, right? Uh huh. We got a GoFundMe account, right? Yes. We're way behind, buddy. We got. So this how far this right? how far them ladies are ahead of us. Oh, I got to tell you about this. Yeah. Sixty dollars. Okay, well we finna cut the distance. Uh, Matt is supposed to be calling me. Trojan Detail is going to give 100 so we yeah. ain't but 260 down, man. <laughs> okay. No. How much are they going to give? 100 Hey, okay. let me, let okay, me so say. Okay, we're still $500 and $30. $530 then. Because we got $30 in ours, and they got 660 in theirs. Oh, you said 660 okay. $660, yes. Yeah, we got, to, we got to catch up with them. But let me tell you a text that I got. And uh, I got to find it. It come from Miss Kelly Sanders, mm -hmm. and she must have been talking to the boss. Stephen said it was good to match. You still need more time. Oh, uh, Mr. Sanders is gonna match. Oh, I like this. Oh, I feel it's fair now. <laughs> I yeah. feel it's fair now. Uh, I, I, I didn't want, you know, you know, wives come first. That's what the Bible says, Absolutely. so I'm not against it. But uh, um, Kelly sent this text and said that Mr. Sanders said he was going to match each team up to 5000 a total of 10000 Oh, yeah. what of uh, what is raised. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, Dr. Sam, we're going uh, – we having a contest, but we don't. You know how adults are. Oh we yeah. Done, we done jumped into this speak first. Me, Kevin Baker, and Frankie Cyrus. It's going against Miss Kelly Sanders, uh, <laughs> Christy Kitchens, and Amanda Floyd. 
And we're going to put two spin bicycles away, them chairs, that, not spin bicycles, but elliptical. Right. And whoever gets the most miles an hour <laughs> is the winner. <laughs> now, I'm the captain for the men team. I hear you. The captain, get, yeah, wait a minute. Guess what the captain gets? If we lose, I get a pie in the face. Ooh, daddy. So we're going to be talking to you. I want you to be announcing that on your radio Oh, show. we will, yeah. And um, if they lose, I get to put a pie, a pie <laughs> in Miss Sanders' face. <laughs> It's going to be fun, but guess what it's for? What's it for? It's for the American Miracle League. League. Miracle League. Miracle These League. are kids yeah. that yeah. play in wheelchairs. Right. Just, just, got all kind of things going oh, yeah. on. But they have fun. And I'm, man, I'm ecstatic to be a part of it. I'm sure. excited. I'm just, I'm going to do my best. I'm in a deal where if I lose, I still win. That's right. I still, you know what? Uh, a little absolutely. pie, what? It ain't going to hurt me. No. You know? Just make sure, though. Yeah, when it, they don't do an uppercut, because I've had that in the face before. <laughs> <laughs> an uppercut, you will, uh, it, it's, unless it's a great pie like a peach or a cherry and apple, but uh, if it's a rhubarb pie or something like that, you don't want that. <laughs> you don't want an uppercut. Okay. No, sir. Hey, ladies, y'all hear that. We don't need an uppercut. Don't pie. do a bad pie. <laughs> don't do a bad pie. Um, well, Hawk, there's one big thing that I got to really throw out here is I don't want you to sandbag on this thing to start out with. We need to we need to get a good lead to start out with. You're the lead man, so yeah, yeah. Uh, oh no, we, I won't we, be sandbagging. <laughs> don't be sandbagging because I know you like pie, and, and, and I know depending on the flavor of the pie, you might just sit there with your mouth open <laughs> and, and you know consume as much as you can. But, well, you know, oh. Um, you know, at Sanders, we got no big eyes and big U's, but I don't know. I think my driver's going to be kind of looking at me as a big man when I just put pie in the boss lady's <laughs> face. You know, uh, they all got some nerves, lady, you know. Yeah, don't talk it up too much. Man. I just hope that if they ran at the middle, she don't say, don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to turn around and do it. No, well, Kelly's a good you, sport. We, we, got some, we got some tough competition. These girls are really working hard to, uh, to show us up. You know, we've, we've got to bring our game day, man. I mean, we've yeah. got to get with it. So, uh, well, you know, I, 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 every time we go to spin class, I look at Amanda and the way she be paddling that bicycle. I think, <laughs> well, I'm glad I ain't on the leg with her. Yeah. I haven't seen – I've seen Kelly, but I didn't know it was her until the, until the class was over, and, and so I didn't pay a lot of attention. And Doug, uh, you're telling me that he's trying to get in my head, but I don't know. He say Christy can – Christy – can really ride that thing. He says she can really ride it. So, oh, yeah, and and you know, let's give a shout out right now to the Sportsplex. I mean, you know, the the reason that we're doing this is a part of the Sportsplex. Oh yeah, and it didn't maintain the uh, the Miracle Field, and and you know, they've done a wonderful job with that. And you know, for Amanda to come on board and and agree to do this, yeah, you know, yeah, it, it, it ties it all together. And, and a shout out to the you know the people at the we know the week before we ride, we need to have everybody on this show and just just yeah. let everybody see and and, and um, we're going to get up some money. That's going to be one of my projects today. Um, did you? Uh, I think they got an account at Troy Bank and Trust, and uh, they got the GoFundMe and all. And uh, before this day over with, unless they get some more, we're going to be ahead of them. We're going to get ahead of them. We're going to get ahead of them. We're going to beat them. You know. I don't know. I don't want to sound like a male chauvinist or nothing. But <laughs> Careful. <laughs> how can how can they beat us? <laughs> oh my! Oh, you're gonna regret that, brother. You're gonna regret that. Never, never. <laughs> uh, you know, you think about what you just said. You look at you look at the drivers we have in our fleet. You take some of these little ladies who are, are 110 pounds, fully clothed and soaking wet. And, and dog on show step, okay. Other companies like nobody's business. Yeah, they, we you got never something. Never underestimate the power of it. I'm going to tell you something, Dr. Sam, and, mm -hmm. and I say this is no offense to my guys. Sure. But I do have to speak out when I say this. I've got some ladies that can dog on show get it. Oh, but. And I dare not. The name's just going to float through my head, but I got so many that's so good. So I don't even say their name. Yeah. Because I'm scared I'll leave out one that's oh, just yeah. as good as the one I call. We got some ladies, and I got guys, too. And you know what? If I had to say overall, we got good drivers. Sure. And you know what? I see them religiously uh, come through Montgomery, mm -hmm. with, where I live, out uh, 
in the Halcyon area and on Taylor Road, man. If you don't see a Wally Sanders truck, there's something bad wrong going yeah. on. Yeah. Because, I mean, you guys are one of the absolute biggest in the country, Wally Sanders truck lines. Yeah, and you're so respected, too, because I've had some truck people talk to me about it before. And I said, listen, if you, if you want a non-corporate somebody breathing down your back, but a family atmosphere, with benefits galore. Yes. It, I mean, that goes so far. You don't, yeah, I mean, and that, I, I kind of equate that to Blue Water Broadcasting where people care about. It. Yeah. If you got a problem, you, you just go in there and talk to your supervisor. It's no big deal, uh, as opposed to having to fill out 27 <laughs> forms Form. to send it to the Lord Corporate knows where. office. Yeah. Let me ask you this now. When you be announcing this, who are you going to be pulling for, Dr. Sam? Go on and step on out there now. I'm, I'm going to be pulling for Wally Sanders truck lines. <laughs> that was a smart answer. <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> Dr. Sam I'm thinking, okay, he does yeah. call me with the contract. That's right. But he gets the money from him. <laughs> Won't I just pull for Wally Sanders truck line and I'm good to go? That was a smart answer. I, I promise you. I can tell you right now who is probably going to win. And huh. I, I really feel that this, there, there's no question about it. The one that raises the most money. Yeah. Is that yeah, it? that's his fault of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one. We're going to, um, <laughs> uh, me and Kevin has been in stuff. I get Kevin thought. I'm going to lose both. I get Kevin tied up in so much stuff. And then. I won't be quiet. <laughs> well, Him and right. Frankie both were saying, hey, dude, just chill out. Yeah. Chill out. Cause I'm aggravating them ladies when I see them. Well, and they're excited. just like. Hey, you're excited. You know, like, this is a good call. I, said, I can't, I can't, I can't. And Kelly, Miss Sanders, shall I say, she is the same way. Mm -hmm. She just looking at me and, <laughs> and she let me talk. Now she let me talk. She'll text me and email me. But when they send emails out for business, you know, like we need to set this up and send this up. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need a meeting or something. You know what my reply is? What's that? I'm bringing the pie. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I'm, I'm going to stand here like a man if I lose and take that Absolutely. pie. Absolutely. They're going to make me have it. <laughs> Kevin, good to talk to you. I'm going to get Dr. Sam to pull these drivers of the month. Yeah, absolutely. And well, good. you got a legend sitting here with you, Hoss. I'm glad to see that Dr. Sam's on the show with you. And, uh, and y'all have fun the rest of the day. We'll see you this evening. And Thank you so I got, much. I got some trucks to set up, buddy. All right, let's do that trucking. All right. All right, Dr. Sam. Here we go. All right. This is the band division. The, the, this is the, the band division? Yeah, this okay. is the band division. All right. Let's pick one out and just All read right. the name. Drivers, y'all see me You're looking that I'm way. I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm looking the that way. I don't even want to look at the camera. Right. And he does it. All right, so uh, they're on cards. It feels yeah. like big cards. It's built like big cards. Okay. Make sure you ain't got but one. You just got one. I don't think so. All right. Who is it? <clears throat> Who is it? It would be Alan Carrington. Alan, Alan Carrington. Carrington. Yeah, All man. Right. Drive Alan, of the month. Drive of the month, Alan Carrington. And he drives 720. All right. And drives his dispatcher is Lee Outlaw. You know these dispatchers. It's <laughs> fun how competitive America is. Mm -hmm. If you have a dispatcher that wins a couple of times, them dispatchers say, "Hey, Hoss, you and Thomas got something going on." <laughs> so, so band division. Thomas Hicks did not win this time. <laughs> Thomas Hicks did not win. So that that's good. Lee Outlaw. Lee is a great guy. He's mm -hmm. he's a he's a hands-on dispatcher. That's good. His drivers love him. Yeah. They love him. And uh, he's just, he's one of them guys that'll come back at night if one of his drivers didn't get some. You know, I found out with trucking, it takes a lot. It's like a puzzle. It takes a lot of putting together. Mm -hmm. And every now and then you'll drop a piece of the puzzle. Sure. But I love a guy that's on the team mm -hmm. that if he drops it, he comes back and picks it up and put it back in there. Because that piece has got to be put in there. Mm -hmm. You know, I come to work on Thursday with this attitude. All those people you saw in there this morning, mm -hmm. I'm not leaving there Thursday until every one of them is on a truck or everybody is satisfied. Something runs late, and, and I've seen how it just inspires a guy. If he said, well, my trainer didn't call me back up. 
I need so and so and so. Try not to let that happen, but I'm not gonna sit here and say things don't happen because they do. You sure. know that. You're oh, radio. I, yeah. You go in there and turn something on and it don't happen. You got to broadcast in 15 minutes. Yep. But you can't just say, well, we can't do it. You just got to go to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in this day and time with all the digital stuff, too. And okay. uh, for uh, all of us that, I'll put it this way, not old, but are a little more mature than the younger ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little, good, a little challenge. Yeah. They, they, I mean, they can do it over their phone and get it fixed out, basically. But and I'm exaggerating a little bit. But you have to have that puzzle. And that's a great way to look at it. Because if everybody's not slipping their part in there, man, <clears throat> when it falls out, it's a domino effect. It's a domino effect. And um, we got guys that will come back and get it right. And, and, mm. and I found out on this team, it, you can't wait on say put me in coach right you got to go in when you it's your to, turn that's right you got to see it and go okay hey i'm needed ready hey i'm mm-hmm. needed here and that's what i tell guys we i get in, in safety and me and doug both find ourselves sometimes kind of leaned over in the shop you know and kind of leaned over this way and not that we're trying to just you know, but sometimes it takes that person to be the, if you're nothing but the boss be Especially when you got a new guy. He's been there four days. Mm-hmm. That's a big old place. Yes, sir. I wanted is. to ride you around it today. That's a big old place. That's a monster. So can you, can you imagine coming from, well, I'm just going to use Florida. You come from Florida, you take a, a bus up here. We take you, we check you into the hotel. Now, I take you around on Thursday, which really blows your mind. And I'm walking around there on that golf cart, and you go, wow, I've been at this place all week. <laughs> <laughs> well, go no. out and stay two yes. weeks, and you come back. And that golf cart ride is a little, now where was that, sh- where right. was, and you know, so a guy just, you know, you got to have somebody that is people, not just somebody, yeah. anybody that he asked that he can talk to, even if, if I'm in the sh- uh, I'm in safety, but he's looking for the log room. Mm-hmm. Tell the guy where the log room is at, help him out. If you're in the shop and he needs to go to the wash, Everybody just hipping everybody, and it works. Well, yeah, and I'll tell you, if you've never been on the uh, the campus, if you will, or the city of Wiley Sanders, you are in for a treat. I, uh, you know, until about five or six years ago, when you guys started advertising, I never dreamed. And I'm from Elba. Don't hold that against me now, because we got good folks down there. But no, I love Elba. I love Enterprise, Dope, but uh, Montgomery, but and Troy. But I, I never in my life dreamed how big that was. Yeah, it's, a it's big, huge. It's a big place. Y'all it's have a, a big... y'all have an operation in second to none. And you know, that happened to me in school. Mm-hmm. I got to go in the local schools. I do the local ones. My guys, you know, I'm calling my, my people to help me. They go over the road. Sean and Ron Hurts and and those guys. They go over the road. Miss Sherry Perriman. And it's different for them because they're in a big town. But can you imagine I'm sitting in Montgomery and I go to saying, we got this. And we're the largest plastic manufacturer in the world. And we got a lead plant. And we got a pearl. I got to watch the people going, this guy is trying to tell me he's got all this in Troy, Alabama. And I start doing tours. And, man, people was just. And, and boy, and I never, I've never did a tour and didn't get somebody. Mm-hmm. Most I, of the time, I can believe it. Most time it'd be the whole class. And then pandemic come along and, and we kind of got out. So we're just not cranking back up. And I'm excited to see what this economy is going to do because people are not as afraid as they once was. And we're going to roll, man. We got freight. Our plastic companies or sister companies are just booming. Mm-hmm. We're just booming. Lead, fertilizer, we're just booming. I mean, and it's not because I got a bad place to work here, but I could hire. I bet you between all the companies, all over that whole place out there, Sanders Lead, Sanders Truck Lines, Wallace Sanders Truck Lines, excuse me, KW Plastic, KW Containers, KW Reese. I bet you with all them people, and I'm just going to throw a number on top of my head, I bet we could put 200 people to work today. Wow. Everybody needs somebody in some position. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been in business so long, and oh, you know, yeah. I, I explained this to somebody one day. We've been in business so long, you got to realize, death has caught some of our people. Not only death, but age. Yeah, right. 
I'm, I'm running close in there. Someday somebody else gonna be sitting. I'm, you know, I'm sixty. Oh yeah. I'm sixty. You know, and and, and I've worked hard, but I've enjoyed it. It's sure. been good to me. You bet. It's been good. It's to very me. rewarding too. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. You don't got the band division. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you on out there. I'm gonna <laughs> let you do the bump. Oh, uh, I knew that one. I don't care people. No brothers or sisters working while they're doing this. <laughs> no, okay. no, no. Uh, I'm always in the fear of somebody yeah. pulling a ticket and go. Oh, yeah, that's my uh, cousin George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. I don't know George been there a long time. <laughs> I'll tell you what. All right, so this is for the... This is for the book to be. All right. One play. Here we go. And... Uh, I can tell everybody, they, they name was pulled by a legend, Dr. Sam on the well, radio. Well, I don't know about the legend part. There I, you I, are. Hey, I'm just... Uh, I'm just thanking God every day I'm still six feet above ground. <laughs> All right, Jared Williams. Jared Williams. Jared Look Williams. What him. truck does he drive? Jared Williams drives 4049. 4049. And his dis uh oh, that's another one of them dispatchers done won a couple of times. Uh oh. This is Rodney Carr. <laughs> <laughs> the boys over there gonna be looking at him. Oh mercy. Rodney is a good guy. I call him when I when I talk to his drivers mm. I say, and if I'm in his office where they at I say Guess who I'm talking to? And they said, who? I said, the guy that sits the lowest in a chair you ever see. <laughs> Rodney Cobb sits in his chair. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, anybody, I can do this on TV. Nobody's going <laughs> to. That's how he sits in that chair. I thought the chair was broke for a long yeah. time, but he sits just like that. One of the nicest guys sure. you ever want to meet he does yep. a fantastic job. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't. Oh, damn. If I nah. got that low, you see how I had to get on the handle? Oh, yeah, that's, that's me. I'm right with you, brother. I'll but that's you. how he sits. And it's, 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 kind of, it's kind of funny, you know. And that's what I tell you about the family things. It's sort of mm -hmm. like the brother yeah. that always leaves the toothpaste in the bathroom open. Mm -hmm. That's what Rodney Cobb is. He's always going to be the guy that's going to be sitting way <laughs> low in his chair, you know. And, <laughs> and they moved him. And I often <laughs> wonder, you know, they moved him from one side to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I was thinking, I wonder did they think if they moved him to that side, he'd drift up. But he did. He still drifted down. Oh, that's great. But, but I can tell in your voice, I can, I can tell in your personality, that that is, you know, that is a fabulous uh, organization and, fam fa and the atmosphere, the family atmosphere today. Even with the new recruits, I could tell they were, they were starting to really absorb it. I mean, they were... You know, and, and, and you hear me say, <clears throat> let this be your last orientation. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it comes a time in life, and I know you've been that time in radio. You mm -hmm. got to you got to get with something, and you just got to stay with it. That's right. You got to stay with it. And, and I tell anybody, I tell anybody, and I, I, I'll go to my grave saying this. If you come to the Sanders companies and you go to work and you just stay there, you'll be rewarded. Mm-hmm. You know, and I don't tell this story much because I think people be thinking I'm from. But when I come there, I was the guy that you was talking about to sweeping the floor. Is that right? But I was still respected. I yeah. was still told. And I, and I was given opportunities. Mm -hmm. I got lucky. And, and I used to say I got lucky. No, but I got blessed. Right. And, and, and that's been a long road. And that's what gives me the compassion. Mm -hmm. Because I know what I'm telling a guy. It can happen because I was once that guy. Isn't that nice? Isn't that you know, nice? I know what I'm telling the guy. You can get a brand new truck. I've left that yard on a new truck before. And it's just and it, it's, it's just the type of place that doesn't change. It just gets better. And we've got better. You take during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and, and, and I brag about this. Mm -hmm. We bought, went out and purchased 75 trucks during a pandemic. Wow. That's impressive. That is. I've got some guys, and they probably don't want me to call their name, and I'm not. It was furloughed from other jobs. Mm -hmm. And I jumped through hoops to get them hired on with us. And I ain't called no name. I had people laugh at me. This guy's going right back when his job. Them. None of them went back. Wow. They personally called me and said, man, if I can keep doing what I'm doing, I'm just going to stay ready. I said, don't worry about it. Yeah. Turn out to be top notch drivers. Isn't that great? Top notch. So I, I look at everything as a blessing from sure. God. Even the pandemic, and I know I make people a little uneasy when I say that. Even that, 
mm-hmm. even that, because it showed us how we, I got to depend on you. I got to depend on you to be safe so I'll be safe. You may be the guy to give me a bottle of water. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it made us come back close to nice mm-hmm. me you were saying before we come on the show. It made us yeah. really realize who, oh, yeah. who, who's in charge. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, and, don't, I don't worry about man, but I know who's in charge. Right. And, and, and uh, you know, you say you, it might make some people nervous about when you talk about the pandemic. But, you know, in the Bible, you're going to have situations in the Scripture Every day is not a happy, carefree day. And That's right. He puts trials and tribulations in front of you to see how you handle those. Yeah. And and um, boy, was this uh, sure enough? A, uh, was this sure enough a, uh, a situation? But but you know what? I think overall, uh, the best could be done with what we had to work with. And yeah. he he, he uh, showed us that. Everything is not roses. You got to work for it. We showed that we was good American people. Mm-hmm. We leaned on each other, oh, yeah. our brothers and sisters. That's and, right. And we all become as one. It wasn't this color, that color, that Correct. nationality. We all just blend in and yeah. say, hey, let's beat this thing. Let's get it out of the way. We all Dr. bleed Sam, red. See, you another one. You, you, you just made me, you made my show just a little bit. I've had a <laughs> big time radio <laughs> job. I, I've got to get killed on this show now. Killer Dilla. Yeah, killer I love Dilla. him. I love him. But, man, I, I look at you and, and you, you inspire me to just keep well, on going. You. You've been in it a long time. I actually listen, man. I hear you <laughs> when you run one hour commercial. You say the fine folks. Yes. At Wallace. Absolutely. So, you know, I've been listening. You, uh, Yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> you say the fine people. I'm going to tell you, I got people out there that listen to commercials for me, they listen to the radio for mm-hmm. me. And when they tell me something, I go back and I check it, and and I got some good people. And good. my best one, and I can say this because all the people that do that, they mm-hmm. don't mind doing it. But Brandy Jordan, boy, if I if she tell me something wrong and I tell her no, it didn't. <laughs> I know it did. She had a time. <laughs> if, if, if I if I'm talking to a driver, and this this is a good tool to have. Mm-hmm. This is a good tool to have. If I'm talking to a driver, mm. I don't even have to tell her. If she hear me say, I'll call you back at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock come, she's going to call me. Mm-hmm. She's going to say, hey, you told some driver. Now, that, that's looking out for you. Yes, I, I dare is. not get I, yeah. I, I don't. Uh, she broke a leg a couple of weeks ago. Oh, mercy. And, boy, we picked on her about the hell. <laughs> and I'm going to tell this story on them. I was cutting my fingernails. Just click, 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 click. And she got this cast on her leg. She said, hey, Hoss. This is family here where you can do it. She said, hey, Hoss. And uh, I turn around. And she had her foot stuck up there. She said, can you do my neck? <laughs> Are you serious? That's fantastic. You know, she can you, So you know how they look. I said, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. <laughs> But that's just family, man. That's well, of what course we it did. is. That's just family. I couldn't do that with this mm, laugh. Of man. course it is. You know when, you, when your coworker got a pack of cookies on his <laughs> desk, he gets up and go to the copy machine. <laughs> you know, you take him for two well, of them. Of course. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, it's all about sharing with your brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll say something like, you didn't need all them. That's you right. You just helping you. No, oh, you know, made me eat that. I didn't want to eat that. Dr. Sam, say good morning to all your people that work with you before you get out of here. Yeah, I, I tell you what, and a lot of them are uh, a lot of them are watching today, and and want to say hello to Rick and uh, Rick Peters is the owner, and uh, he does a magnificent job. He has you talk about having your hands full, boy. I tell you, but he also realizes, <clears throat> I think by now, and I'm sure he does, that he has great people that take pride. Because it's a great company to work for, just like Wiley Sanders. Yeah. And um, we have uh, 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 formats for for everybody as far as, uh, as uh, what radio station to listen to, and it's just a uh, it's a wide variety. It's the whole pie, and you can just take whatever slice you want. Whatever whatever fits you. Yeah. It's great. Hey, we love you, Doctor Sam, and thank you. And this won't be your you last time. time. Yeah, I Rick, enjoyed Rick, Rick with you next time. Yeah. Remember, I met Rick in, in, in our David's office. Right, when right. He was there. I thought I did. Yeah, real nice guy. And I met him when I come up. Correct. To do some stuff. Correct. Well, Doctor Sam, we're gonna we're gonna tell you that the door is always open for you. If you got anything going on? Let us know. Hey, 
you know what I'm about to say. If you can't say something nice, then just don't say nothing. You know, <laughs> just don't say nothing. Uh, remember at Wallace Sanders Truck Line, God and family first. Until next Monday, goodbye, goodbye. We love him because he first loves us. First John 4, 19. Welcome to Loves. Safe and clean are two words that mean more now than ever before. Loves has been the leader of clean places, friendly faces for nearly 60 years. When you visit our stores, you'll find something for the entire family to enjoy, from our restaurants to plenty of drink and snack options. So whether you're back on the open road or planning to be soon, we'll be here for you and your entire travel party, keeping our stops safe, clean, and stocked with all your road trip needs. Loves, the heart of the highway.